Mike Singer from the Denver Dogs. Hey, Nicola. Um, it was 91-91 with six minutes left, and, uh, it, and Austin hits four three-pointers. C- can you describe what the feeling was like on the court when Austin got it going and he went off like that? Well, yeah, I mean, he hit one big one in uh, from the slot area, from the, like, uh, I said, yes, 45 degrees on the left side. And then hit another one from the corner. I think those two was really, really big ones. Um, because we kind of, it was the end of the shot clock. And he, I mean, he took a good shot. So he, that's what he, he's doing. So that was a big part of our I mean, his, his performance was probably the one who decide who's going to win the game. So he, he won us the game today. So uh, he had a really good, good, really good night. Crystal, KOA. How, how big was it to regain home court advantage to come into a hostile environment and, and get this win and, and reshift it back to Denver? I mean, to be honest, I mean, we lost the first game at home, so we won. So I don't know, it's that big difference. Uh, I, I mean, we're going to have a lot of more, uh, a little bit more fans, so maybe, maybe, maybe we're going to have an advantage uh, at home. Not maybe, for sure. But, you know, basketball, especially this series, I think it's home court and rather just didn't show up uh, like it's a big advantage. So because we are, we lost one, they lost one. So um, you just need to keep continuing to play like this. Uh, and uh, we can, we can have, we can have um, hopes that we're going to be in the next game. Christo Saltes, DNA Greece. Hey, Nicola, hope you're doing well. I would like to ask you, what did you see from Austin Rivers tonight and how important part of, uh, of your win was both Austin and Facu Togafas? I mean, to be honest, Facu was amazing. Uh, I think uh, he's that guy who, who, who is a winner, you know. People are say, saying that he's flopping and doing all that. No, he's just playing hard, you know. But people get, uh, people get uh, frustrated by him, you know. So... Um, he's just using uh, your your tension, your aggression, your maybe lack of focus. You know, he doesn't be there all the whole game uh, because everybody in the league flops. So, but he he's doing something more. You know, he, he, he's a warrior and he, he's a winner. He knows how to win the game. I think in one moment he led us in the rebounding. So he was his performance was amazing. And in Austin, like what we just said, uh, he 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 shot the ball. Really well. I think his de- uh, his defense was really good in in couple in couple possessions. He had really big stops, uh, and he he played really uh, smart. I think in in the fourth quarter. Eddie Winchy. Hey Nicola, when uh, Nurk fouled out. Were you surprised that they didn't bring Cantor in and thinking with the small lineup that they finished with? To be honest, that's their problem. I really don't know what to do. We have a lot of problems, not problems, like a lot of stuff that we can be better as then we're Nuggets. So I don't want to think about Portland. Vinny Benedict, Denver Gazette. Hey, Nicole, you know Portland's going to come into game four Desperate, hungry, whatever word you want to use. Does that change how you prepare going into the game? No, I mean they 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 came out today really well, uh, really aggressive. But we we answered it back and we won the quarter first quarter. Yeah, first quarter, and uh, our defense I think was really good. Uh, uh, and, and until the until the last quarter, they when they scored a little bit more. But I think I think our defense first three quarters, even even when they made it that, that, that big run in the first quarter, not big run, like a bigger bigger run in the first quarter. I think we we hold down like we were we were we were good. We really didn't panic. Leonardo Torres. Hey Nicola, it's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Nicola, what are the thoughts on the and roll execution you have with? I mean, uh, first of all, he's a European player, so he 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 knows how to play with with uh, anybody on the floor, and um, he's the one who who is sharing the ball, who is playing the team basketball, so it's easy to play with, with uh, that type of guy. 
Mike Singer, Denver. You guys are winning with, with Austin, with, with Baku, with Rookie, with Shaq Harrison, with, with Marcus Howard. How much pride do you think those guys take in being underdogs, kind of like yourself, um, and not necessarily you know, having a ton of experience, but it doesn't seem to matter? I mean, in this moment, you, you just fight. You know, those guys are stepping up big time. They're just going to go out there and fight. You know, they're going to use six fouls. They're going to be aggressive. Um, they're going to maybe learn uh, the t- uh, on the hard way, you know, tough way. But they're going to, uh, at least they're not going to back up. So that's a big, uh, big uh, point, uh, especially especially the, with Marcus, who didn't play the whole season. And he was with us. Uh, Shaq was really good. Shaq. <laughs> Shaq is really good. <clears throat> I think Jamichael had made a big uh, in the first quarter two threes, and he had a couple of rebounds, and he 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 was he was a uh, you know he had a really good energy. So, Joel Rush Forbes. Hey Nicola, congratulations! Uh, I wanted to ask you about Michael Porter um, tonight. I think he had the highest plus minus and the highest net rating of the team, but. It seems like he's not really like coming out with dominant scoring performances, but what are you seeing from him that's working well? Not forcing. You know, I think when you're not forcing it, the game is going to come to you. Uh, when you're forcing, then kind of the teammates are mad at you. The t- like you, you see when someone is forcing. So when you're not forcing, the game is going to come to you. And they have a, they have a really good defender on him, you know. They have a lot of pressure, a lot of tension, and like a lot of focus on him, and uh, he needs to learn to play against that, you know. So it's really it's going to be really nice to see him uh, how he's going to develop. I think he's, he's just going to be better and better. But the main thing he's not focusing, uh, he's not uh, uh, forcing stuff. So I think that's the best thing. He's using himself as a bait, and he's uh, he's playing. I think he's playing well just because he doesn't score much. I mean, he's for. How much? Fifteen. Yeah. So I think I don't have. Uh, he doesn't need to score a lot. He's playing really well. All right, Nicole. We got time for one more. We're going to end with Mark Kisla of the Denver Post. Hmm? You mentioned the fight of, of your teammates, and we we mentioned you know whether it's Jamal or Fapu or Austin or whoever. Uh, you guys find a way to win. Are you as impressed with the fight as your teammates' basketball skills? Uh, you know, shooting and passing is important, but are you just as impressed with the fight that is in that locker room? I mean, to be honest, that's what we do the last couple of years. You know, we, we had a lot of comeback games. We had a lot of comeback series in last year, last playoff. We had a comeback, comeback with this season. So, like fighting is something that we, we develop as, as a Nuggets organization. Uh, since uh, since uh, coach came here, uh, that was my first year. So I think that's that's something the the mindset and the 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 the, uh, the, the culture is is build, we are building. You know, maybe we're, we're not gonna yell, we're not gonna scream, but we're gonna fight. You know, we're gonna get on your nerves, and we're just gonna uh, uh, be there. You know until the last second all right that'll do it thank you nicola all right pleasure nicola's